What's up everybody? It's Underdog MLB. Today I'm back with another all-time team build. Today I'm doing the Miami Marlins. This team is a little bit special for me because this year I actually happened to predict that the Marlins would come out of nowhere and have a really good season and they did just that. If they get a couple of things to go their way or get on a hot streak, they could make things interesting down the stretch. And remember, if the Marlins do end up a 500 team, you heard it here first. That's right. Back in April, I did say I thought the Marlins were going to be around 500, and they did finish over 500 and made the playoffs. So I kind of was a bandwagon Marlins fan, I'm not going to lie, during the uh, NLDS. Once they beat the Cubs, because obviously I'm a Cubs fan, so I'd root for the Cubs over the Marlins. But once the Marlins beat the Cubs, I was definitely rooting for them to uh, go make a deep run in October, which unfortunately they didn't do, but it was still pretty cool to watch the underdog story that they had. So this is the Marlins team build that we got. So let's take a look in right field. Gary Sheffield. I haven't used this card in a long time, but I did kind of enjoy using him. His swing was a little bit funky, but he definitely has a lot of power. In center field, Mr. Juan Pierre. He has got definitely low power, but he can make it up for it with a good contact and speed. He might be able to create a little havoc at the top of the lineup. In right field, we have Mr. John Carlos Stanton. He is an absolute absolute power beast 125 on both sides his defense isn't that great though at third base we got the finest for the 2020 marlins that would be miguel rojas this guy mashes lefties he isn't that great versus righties so we'll see how he does at shortstop hanley ramirez definitely a fan favorite for a lot of people he can do pretty much everything he can hit for contact power play okay defense He's got a lot of speed, so this should be a fun card to have at the top of the lineup. At second base, we got Jazz at Chisholm. Yeah, like Jazz, this is Shelfie's favorite player. Possibly top five favorite player in the entire game. He loved using this guy back in May around that time when these uh, Stage 2 Future Stars cards came out. And uh, I'm hoping that Jazz can keep up the success with me because this is my first game using him. He lo definitely looks like a beast of a card. And then at first base, we got Brian and. Anderson. This guy has 125 power versus righties. He's got a nice swing. A lot of people like him. Good defense as well, so he should be fun to use. And then behind the dish, we got the tops now. Jorge Alfaro on the bench. Cliff Floyd, Starling Marte, Jesus Sanchez, Marlins Miggy, and Jesus Aguilar. And then in the pitching staff, this is not that great of a pitching staff, I'm going to be honest. We have 6-0 Sanchez, who only has four pitches, although he does throw pretty hard, and I have used his uh, 86. Six prospect card I think a little bit and I do like that card so we'll see how the buffed up future stars does then we got the face of the franchise AJ Burnett who I also have enjoyed using his gold card at the beginning of the year he does have a kind of a nice delivery in my opinion but we'll see how he does I haven't really seen too many people use this 97 then in the bullpen we got 94 Brandon Kinsler and 93 Ryan Stanek so only four diamonds we're definitely gonna have to mix and match and hopefully use all all of these guys so we can win the game because if we have to get into our uh, reserves things are going to get a little bit scary i do not want to be using 61 overall richard blyer in a ranked seasons game all right today we're going to be taking on the delco dynamo he has a full lineup of finest players including that anthony santander who i really want to get he looks pretty nice he's got a couple of prestige finest mookie betts juan soto manny machado he has Catel marte he was a card i really badly want to get i love that using that card last year he's got walker bueller on the mound who i have struggled against a little bit but not too much he's 420 wins too that's pretty nice Pierre, that's back up the middle. Base hit to lead it off for Juan Pierre. That's how you love to start it off. Now we got speed on the bases. Gary Sheffield. Oh, we're going to get the very early cheese base hit. Hey, I'll take it, man. I'm using not my God Squad, so I'll take any type of cheese I can get. Oh, we're going to check our swing on the cutter up and in, but we hold up. We got bases loaded, one out. He's going to plunk Jazz in the elbow here. We are going to score a run on that, and we still have the bases loaded. Oh, wow. Thought that ball was definitely going to go below the zone, but he's going to strike me on the fastball there. We take a run to lead off the game. Hopefully, we can start pitching well. Mookie, perfect, perfect to center field. Oh, that sucks for him. He's going to get a perfect, perfect line out. 
Yikes. Ah, that's a bad pitch. He is going to rip that one to right. He's got two lineouts on the inning. Hey, I feel bad for him, but we know he's going to hit the ball hard, so we got to keep the offense going. He's going to plunk Juan Pierre. That's the second hit by pitch in two innings, and he's got speed on the bases, so he better be careful here. Steal in there with Juan Pierre. I believe we're going to be in there. Yep. One and two, but we got to run in scoring position, so if we can get a base hit, we'll score another run. Hanley, is that going to get down? Get over the head. Ah, uh, we didn't deserve a hit on that. I'm fine with that. Hey. Whoa, this guy is going to check swing on his slider that nails him in the kneecaps. Come on, you can't be giving me a check swing. I got, I got to get a strike on that. Good slider, low and away. We're going to get this strike out on that so the hit by pitch doesn't end up costing us. We're still up one nothing. Chef Bouillardie through the hole. He's got two hits in the ball game. Let's go. Jazz, that's going to be a base hit to center field. I'm not going to send Gary to third. I probably could have made it, but it's not worth risking it with only one out. Uh, good cutter up in the zone. I was definitely late on it. We're not going to take advantage of the two hits in the inning. Ah, uh, that, that is hung right down the middle, but he's going to pop up the fastball to right field. Gary Sheffield going to make the catch. That's a 1-2-3 inning. Ah, uh, that's a terrible swing. You can't be very early on a fastball outside. I mean, what is, what is that? Ah, uh, that's a hanging slider, but we're going to get away with it. This guy has missed a couple of hanging pitches, but so far, Sixto was throwing the ball really well, but we... Gotta get more insurance because I'm never safe with just one run. Hanley on the ground. That's a base hit to lead off the inning. Can we get another run, man? I'm tired of not scoring. And that's going to be on the ground. We are lucky we were running there because we avoided the double play there on 3-2. That's smart baseball. John Carlo, center field. That's 125 power. I cannot believe that the, the only reason that that's not gone is because that that's late side of good. That is a near perfect swing. I was all over that. Stanton's got 125 power. And the fact that that was late side of good means that's only 97 exit velo. I call BS. Jazz! Jazz! Hands! Get out of here! That ball is a no doubter. Jazz Chisholm with a two-run bomb. We take a three-to-nothing lead. That is absolutely massive. We needed those insurance runs. Brian Anderson, that's going to the gap. I think. I don't think he's going to make a play on it, and he botches it. Oh, and he botches it. That's going to be a double for Brian Anderson with two down. What am I doing? I am taking. The most terrible swings with Miguel Rojas today. I've struck out twice, and then I chased that pitch. What? 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 Tim Anderson going to bunt. He's going to pounce on that. Alfaro going to make the play. That's five scoreless innings for Sexto Sanchez. He's looking really good. Pierre back up the middle. That's going to be his second base hit of the game. That swings with two outs. We were not even on that, but I, I mean, I like Pierre's swing so far. He's got two hits. I think he might be an underrated card. Uh, Patton Nashek here. He's double switching, too. Ramirez to center field. That ball is absolutely crushed. That's not even to the warning track. What is that? That is such a good swing. I cannot believe we were also on the left side of good, too. That is so unbelievable. I can't believe that they took away a hit from us on that. Fastball up and away, and that's going to be his first hit of the ball game. He's going to go with the fastball up and away, and the no-hitter from Sixto Sanchez is lost after five innings. That was a dot, too. I mean, he hit that ball early on an up and away. That's a little bit interesting. That's a ground ball. Can we get you on this? Turn it, turn it. Let's go. Sheffield back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. Third hit of the game for Gary Sheffield. Anderson rips it to third, and Machado's going to make a nice grab on that to save that from being a base hit. Wow, we left that fastball up, and he finally gets to one. That's going to be just gone. He just hit it to the right of that uh, elevated. Oh, this guy's replaying it? What a clown. This guy is replaying his homer that barely left. If that ball was a foot to the left, that doesn't get out of here. 
Swing and a miss on the change up below the zone. Six still allows his first run. So we know that this guy's capable of scoring. We need to get more runs. Miggy with a perfect, perfect back up the middle. Another leadoff single. I feel like we've had a leadoff single almost every inning. Alfaro, that's going to be a perfect, perfect on 3-2. We got two men on, nobody out. The pitcher spot coming up. This is interesting because Sixto has been shoving it all game. But this is a big offensive spot, and I think I'm going to need to sub him out. Miggy. Oh, oh, cheese him, cheese him. Let's go. Very early hit. Hey, I'll take what I can get right now. You know Sixto probably wouldn't have got on, so that move pays off. And I pop it up with Pierre. Oh, that's so unclutch. That is so unclutch. Hey, we still got two outs to work with. Hanley. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. That is a paying knuckle curve. I smoked that ball on the ground. It's gonna be a double play. That's unbelievable. Fastball up, and he's gonna get to that. He's gonna hit it into the gap. JT's got two hits for him on the day. We gotta get this in quickly or he might take three. Come on, good relay, good relay. We might have him, we might have him. Oh, just a little bit late. That's a hanger, that's a hanger and he's gonna pop it up the other way. Stanton, get under the ball, let's go. Scoreless inning for Stanton. It scared us a little bit there with the real Mito triple. Boom, fastball just low and we take that good eye. That's ball four. Stan on the ground, that's a base hit. We got two men on, nobody out. The offense is getting on early in the inning, but we can never get a clutch hit to save our lives. Jazz came up big last time. Jazz! Jazz! Kiss him to center field, that's a perfect, perfect. And that is gone. Six to one, Jazz Chisholm is the man. He has all six RBIs today, a three run bomb, a two run bomb, and an RBI hit by pitch. This guy is so good. Anderson to center field. Oh, you cannot do that to me. I mean, I know we just got a clutch hit, but Brian Anderson, I think he's been robbed twice now on really good swings. And Alfaro's gonna pop it up, but hey, a huge, massive three-run bomb from Jazz Chisholm. We take a six to one lead. I'm feeling a lot more confident now. He is going to go around on that. That's the second time he's been rung up on a check swing. That never happens. Mookie Betts is going to hit that ball to the gap. That's going to be... That's going to be gone. Wow. That, those insurance runs are looking big now. Because if we didn't get him, we would be only up by one here. Soto's going to pop it up the other way. Stanton's there. That's two down. One out left to get. Marte gonna pop it up to right field. Chef Bouillardi is gonna make the catch. And boys, we come away with a W today. Six to two with the all time Marlins team build. That was a whole lot of fun. Sixto Sanchez threw an absolute gem today. Seven innings, one run, only three, only two hits actually. He was absolutely dominant. This card might be an absolute beast if you're looking for a budget starting pitcher. Ryan Stanek finished the game. He struck out two batters in two innings. He did allow a run, but uh, it didn't matter. We, we came away with the win pretty easily there. Jazz Chisholm was far and away the player of the game. Two bombs, all six RBIs on the day. Juan Pierre, two for four. I think that card might be a little bit underrated. Gary Sheffield, 3 for 4 Brian Anderson had one hit, but he also hit the ball hard two other times for outs. So he easily could have been 3 for 4 today. So this was a really, really fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it because it was definitely very hype for me. And uh, I'll see you guys for the next all-time team build.